Today we're going to be doing a quick unboxing of the Zotac GeForce GTX 570. So this is a reference board, which means that we're going to find pretty much the same specs as every other GeForce GTX 570 on the market. So let's go over the basics of what all of that means. First of all, we have 1.28 gigabytes of video memory, so that is uh, slightly less than the GeForce GTX 580, although that's not the only way that it is slightly reduced from the spec of the GTX 580. I mean, given the price difference, you'd have to expect there's a couple things that are not quite as good. First of all, we have a 320-bit memory interface, and we also have slightly fewer functional units, so that is CUDA cores on this card versus the 580. Now, we've got full support for NVIDIA's technologies, including CUDA, PhysX, SLI, 3D Vision Surround, all of that good stuff. And with Zotac, you get a lifetime warranty in the USA and Canada. And I'm actually not sure what their warranty is in some of the other territories. Although I know that we do have viewers from those places, so I wish I could tell you guys. Uh, maybe there will be some details about that inside. Oh, here, actually, why don't we have a look at what Zotac has to say about themselves on the back. Uh, DirectX 11, we've got uh, support for Stratton Gaming, Play in 3D. I guess this is stuff we've pretty much covered already. Oh, yeah, power supply requirements. I don't think I talked about that before. Looks like we don't have anything on this side. Mm-hmm. Nothing. Let's see over here. Ah, okay, power supply. Minimum 550 watt or greater power supply with at least... 38 amps on the 12 volt rail and all of the other like here, here's something I don't get AMD Athlon XP class processor or higher show me an Athlon XP motherboard with a PCI Express slot yeah good luck that's sort of dumb since you can't even install this on one like that why would they have that on the minimum requirements I don't get it okay let's have a look at what we've got inside in terms of accessories so first of all I think we're gonna find some stuff under there hey hey cool we get a game Prince of Persia of the Forgotten Sands. So a permanent internet connection is required to play this game. I actually know nothing about this game. I'm just going to make sure there's no like serials on the back of it or anything that you guys can pilfer. All right, so there you go. You get a game. Cool. You get an installation CD as well as a case sticker. So uh, throw away the installation CD. Download the latest drivers from NVIDIA.com. You get a little warning sticker. Please allow the graphics card to cool after operation before removing it from your system. Okay, then we also get a little uh, coupon code thing, so you can get a couple discounts on V-Reveal for sharpening your high-definition videos, as well as Nero Vision Extra. Excellent, and then a couple other things that I guess work with uh, GeForce CUDA. All right, then we have an extend. oh, here, here's the uh, warranty details. So, there you are, five years warranty, Europe, Middle East, and APAC. Uh, lifetime warranty in USA, Mexico, Canada, and Latin America. All right, user's manual. Probably telling you how to install it, how to install the drivers, all that good stuff. Not gonna dwell on that for too long. Here we have accessories. So we've got two Molex, two six pin PCIe adapters. We have one HD, oh, this is interesting. Mini HDMI to HDMI, but it's like at a 90 degree angle. Here, let's uh, Look at that. I wonder why they've gone and done that. So here, hold on. Now I have to now I have to figure out why they've opted to include one that's shaped like this. So in a typical case, you would install it like that. Okay, so it would be this way. And then the HDMI comes out this way. I guess it's so that you don't interfere with something like right here above the the top of the PCI bracket or something? Huh, interesting. All right, maybe there's a reason like that would make it fit better with some cases that they've gone with that right angle adapter. And then finally, we've got a uh, DVI to VGA adapter, although please do yourself a favor. If you don't already have a DVI monitor and you're buying this graphics card, please get one. All right, so Zotac sticker design features their like Zotac guy, and he seems to be meditating with his glowing eyes and uh, as well as the Zotac line showing that they do have a heartbeat. 
apparently. Cameraman has lost interest in the sticker, so we're gonna go around to the back of the card where you'll find not a whole lot to look at there. Then we will move to the top of the card where you will find here, I'll, let me just flip this over, where you'll find a Zotac sticker as well as a little G-Force branding as well as two six pin PCIe power connectors. We've also got a ventilation hole here. So you are going to be exhausting just a little bit of air into your case, but the majority of it is gonna go out the back through these exhaust vents here. We've got two DVI ports as well as one mini HDMI port, which we've talked about a fair bit already. And then we will also find two SLI connectors compatible with two-way as well as three-way SLI. On the back of the board, you can see that it is identical in every way to the GTX 580 PCB, including even solder points for the extra two pins on the 8-pin power connector on the 580, as well as solder points for the extra memory that the GTX 580 has located here. So we've got a standard PCI Express 16X graphics card connection at the bottom. And I think that covers pretty much everything there is to say about the Zotac GeForce GTX 570. So in summary, with Zotac you get your extra gain, you get the lifetime warranty, and I believe they also have, um, I believe they have a pretty good support system with their live chat thing, although I don't think they've mentioned that on the box anywhere. But if you check out their site, they've actually got like, uh, uh, you can chat with a customer service representative at any time, and they were quite responsive when I tried it. So, don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other videos about computer stuff.